Hi, this is Joy back again in the, at the Quilting Bee in Spokane Valley, and I am so excited to introduce to you the latest in Brother Machines, the Stellaire II. Uh, the XJ2 is the one that does sewing and embroidery, and the XE2 is embroidery only. Same exact machine, same faceplate, except it only does embroidery. And you'll notice that Brother does have the license for Disney Design, so it does have the Mickey Mouse, and there are Disney Designs in here. What I want to show you what they've added to this machine is we have, they've added some uh, extra stitches into it, so they've added the hand look stitches, so if you wanted to do quilting with the, that has the hand look on it, you can always go into these stitches here, and it has um, the uh, quarter inch and the half inch and the one inch stitches so you can choose what you like for your quilting. It also has added the tapered stitches. So each of these 20 stitches can be used in tapering. And what the tapering does is that when you pick this stitch, then you can go in here and you can select the start to be tapered at a certain angle, any angle that you would like. Then you can go into the end and taper that at even different um, direction if you'd like to. So that's a really cool feature on the tapered stitches so that you can do different designs, stitch out different designs with the satin stitches. Um, with the tapering, I've seen flowers made. I haven't had a chance to make any yet, but it's really cool feature. Uh, what they've also added for the embroidery, they've added some alpha, some couching stitches. Uh, so if we go into embroidery, We have this new category that is the couching stitches. You can see it's a C. Uh, they have added some more designs in these, uh, some more categories of designs in these stitches. Uh, there are actually 23 categories of decorative stitches in here, so they have added some new ones. But if we go in here into the couching stitches, we have not only do we have designs that are built in, uh, that these are all couching stitches that you can do with yarn, uh, but they also have added in uh, alphabet stitches. Uh, so they have uh, the capital letters, they have the small letters, and then they have some numbers and punctuation. So you can manipulate these letters and numbers to make different designs on it. You're not just stuck with A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four. Um, you can actually manipulate those to make uh, different designs. So I wanna show you how that works. So I have set it up for our couching designs. Uh, and what I'm gonna do first while is take one of the built-in designs, this little leaf here, and you can see that um, it, once I set it into the machine, um, it's only gonna be one, one color, and there you cannot add anything to these designs. So you can't add a basting box, you can't add any other letters, you can't add any other designs. If I try to do that, my machine would tell me, no, 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 can't do that. So you do, can only do this one design at a time. So all I have, what I've done is I have bought, I have a big ball of thread or yarn, and I'm going to, I just put it on the floor they usually put it up here, but I have found it works better for me on the floor. That way I can just keep it out of the way and manipulate it as I want to. Now you wanna make sure your thread stand is only part way up when you're doing this. Um, and then we have this little part here that it comes with the machine and all you have to do is stick it in right here. You're gonna take your yarn through this. Then you're gonna take your yarn through this bottom one on the same little part. And then on the foot, there's an actual little curly cue right back here that it has to go through also. This is a special foot that is just for couching. So we're going to put this on the machine and you do have to do some manipulating with your needle when you first put it on. And there's a video in your help uh, video screen up here that will help you show you how to do that. You have to move the needle over to the left side of the uh, hole for the foot so that it can catch all those yarns with the stitches that you use on your machine. So this, I've threaded it with a just a regular thread, threaded it just the way it's normally supposed to be threaded, uh, and then my yarn is going in through a separate thing. So the only thing going through my needle is the yarn, 
or is the thread, the yarn is actually going through the foot. Um, you do have to have a special tool to um, thread that yarn through the through the foot width, and that comes with the machine. Be very careful with this. Don't lose it. I'd always make sure I put it back into this little packet when I'm done with it, because once you drop this on the floor, you're probably not going to find it very easily. So um, I've, put, I've had to take the whole ankle off, so this foot um, was put on the machine, and I tighten it with my my screwdriver, my three-in-one screwdriver that is absolutely fabulous. Um, I also use this screwdriver to tighten my hoop so I can put that in there and tighten my hoop so I don't have to do it with just my hand. Um, these are the hoops that come with the Stellaire and that is because it does not have a camera in here. It has an app that you're going to use on your phone um, and once you put have that app on your phone you're going to take a picture of the hoop so if you wanted to bring a design in and uh, place it in a certain area on your on your fabric or whatever you could do that by uh, taking that picture and sending it right to your machine so i brought up this maple leaf here that i'm going to show you how this stitches out so we're just going to i've hooped a stabilizer and my fabric um, i'm just going to slide this underneath my uh, presser foot onto the machine put the lever down Make sure my thread is out of the way. Now I have this design pulled up. It is, I have to just go to embroidery and it's ready to stitch. Now you do not want to leave your machine when you are doing couching because your, your yarn could get caught on something. Um, it could get caught in your needle. It could get caught on the thread stand. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. And also when you have selected your couching designs, your machine automatically slows down to uh, 600 stitches a minute rather than the 1,050 that normally it will do. Um, I have this in my five by seven frame. My design is five and a quarter by five. It's gonna take me three minutes to stitch out. It has 940 stitches. So now all I have to do is make sure there's a little bit of slack in my yarn and I'm just gonna press start. It's gonna move right to where it needs to go. Uh, so you can see that stitching through there quite nicely and then after it gets out of my way I can come back and because it has locked this beginning of this thread down or this yarn down I can just merely cut that away and it will continue it will not come unsewn it will continue stitching throughout there. Um, while this stitching and it is going to be slower than what you're normally used to I just wanted to show you that some of the things that have come in um, I made this pillow. Uh, these are the letters that are built into the Solaris. So these are the capital letters. Um, I just stitched that out on, uh, I put it in my bigger frame, my nine and a half by 14 inch frame. Um, and if this took me, a, I think it took me about an hour to stitch this. So you do stitch slower, but you get a really nice result with it. I also stitched out, this is a built in design. Uh, so I just put it in, I put some stabilizer on the back and I just put my yarn in there and that's a built-in design. Here's another built-in design that I've done, but I actually went into uh, my design center and added a background fill in there. So you're not just limited to what is in the machine, you can do fun things with it on top of what's that. So even though you can only do the couching with nothing else in the, on the screen, I took a background shot of it and did the background stitching with that before I even added my couching design. Here's another one that's a built-in design. Uh, this little bee is built in and I just did, took this into my design center and then just did a little bit of couching around the outside of that. I also took one of the built-in fonts that's built into the machine and did some yarn couching on that. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with these, this couching, which is a whole lot of fun that you can do. Um, but you can see how this is stitching out, stitches out a little bit slower than we're used to, but you can see how well that has tacked that down. And of course, I would, I would uh, match my thread a little bit better to my yarn, whatever type of yarn you're using. You can just use the regular yarn that you can get at any, um, 
uh, Walmart or Joann's, you can get the yarn there. That will work. Um, you can use um, embroidery floss. You can do that also. So anything that with a thicker yarn that you don't have to actually uh, do it bobbin work, you can do the couching on top. So you're not just limited to the designs that are in the machine. This is a really great feature on the machine. I've been playing with this for um, a couple days now and it is a lot of fun. You do have to babysit the machine, but I don't think that's, it's mesmerizing watching these designs work. My embroidery is finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to cut right at the thread and the yarn where it finished off at. And then I'm going to pull that off and you can see how beautiful that stitched out. There's no open spots that you could get anything stuck in there. What I can do is I can come in here and if I return here and I go to my um, outline, I could put this into memory and then I could go on to, um, I have to delete this because we can only do one design at a time in here. So I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna go into my design center where I saved that design right here. And you'll see that little flower up there. I've saved that outline design. So I could actually come in here and add a fill in this design. So I have 24 designs that I could pick out in here. Um, so let's see, something like this might look good in a leaf. I'm gonna change it to a color and I can come in here and use my bucket key and turn that into a background fill that I could put into here. So then what I would do is I would just go in here and I can change um, the size. Um, I can change this, the direction of the stitches. I can make it stitch double or single. If I come in here and make it a little bit smaller since it is a very pretty small design, I can come in here and then if I take this foot off, take the yarn out, put a design in there and put my hoop back on, I can stitch this design inside of this leaf here and it goes in there just perfectly. So a lot of things that you can do with these new couching designs, it's really exciting. I'm so excited uh, to be playing with this machine. It's a wonderful machine. It does replace the XJ1 and the XE one. So it does have more stitches, it has more fills, it has more designs. Uh, so a lot more features on here makes it a very good machine to play with. Uh, so come on down and look at the Stellaires uh, and let us know what you think. Maybe try out these couching designs. Thank you so much for watching.